Hey everyone, uh, we're going to tie a fly today called the Jigger Knot. Uh, this has been a real great little bass jig. Um, also works well for trout, but uh, really designed for bass. Uh, we're going to start out with a 90 degree. Uh, this is a Daiichi hook. You can use whatever hook you'd like. This is just one that, um, that works well. We're going to take some black 210 denier or 140 power thread. Is what I've been using. Lay down a little base of thread here. I'm gonna come up and we're gonna add a set of dumbbell eyes. These are pseudo eyes. This is the red. We're gonna leave just a little bit of space, maybe an eye length behind that that uh, 90 degree point, and we'll go ahead and attach these on. You can vary the weight on this uh, however you like. You can do lead eyes, you can do um, bead chain, you can do a cone, whatever you want to, to do to your fishing conditions. Your pseudo eyes have a little bit of a sharp edge. Every once in a while, if you catch it while you're going around it. Okay, so we'll take that back to the back. We're going to take some UV polar chenille. This is the uh, UV purple. You can do this in a variety of different colors. This is one I really like. Is this purple and black. We're going to take this and we're just kind of Gonna make a little body here. We're gonna leave ourselves a little bit of space behind those eyes. But we want a, a good amount of polar chenille. And we'll go ahead and tie that off. Okay, so we're about at the halfway, 60% mark or so. Uh, we're going to take some rabbit strip. Uh, this is a black rabbit strip. You can use Magnum or you can use Standard. And we want this tail, I usually measure it by the, by the hide. We want it to be one, two, and about a, another quarter of an inch. It's about two and a quarter length. And we're going to take it and we're going to pierce it about quarter inch to a half inch depending on how long you want your tail and what hook you're using um, in the middle of the hide. I'm just going to take this out of the out of the vise real quick. We'll poke this through. This is going to ride hook point up. So now we got that rabbit strip on there. We can go ahead and invert our hook. Okay, and I'm just going to stroke all these fibers of the polar chenille down, and I pull this rabbit strip over the top here, and just bind that down. Okay. So we got like a little belly here with the polar chenille, and a nice tail that's gonna uh, really move in the in the water. Okay, we're gonna get some uh, MFC bunny brush. Uh, this is essentially rabbit without the hide. It's gonna allow our sinkability to increase, uh, not have a lot of weight to throw um, this fly. It's going to be easy to cast. It's also going to wick water away. It's also going to move and flutter just like I want it to um, in the water. So we're just going to cut off that metal core in there. Okay, we're going to take this bunny brush. Just kind of use some, some saliva, get that all facing backwards. 
I'm going to kind of wrap this like a like a hackle. I'll stroke this back, and we're going to put them right next to each other. We're going to do three wraps and then tie off here on the top. Okay, and then uh, you use an old pair of scissors or some of these snips. Snip out that metal core on the inside there. And you just want to bury it with your thread. And I left myself just a little bit of space behind those eyes. Okay, that gives us a nice bushy collar without any weight from the from the hide, still gonna move. It actually stands up a little better than, than rabbit on the hide. Okay, so we're gonna go to our uh, marabou. This is purple, purple marabou, and we're looking for one with some nice wispy tips to it. Okay, we're just gonna Pluck some of those fluffy fibers off on the bottom here. And we're going to tip tie this. We're going to stroke back this tip here. And tie that in. Clip off the tip. And we're just going to kind of stroke this back as we wrap a little marabou collar. It's going to add a lot of movement to this fly. Bind that down. And it gives us a nice wispy collar. You got the, uh, the rabbit showing through there underneath it, props it up, gives it a nice, gives it a nice profile. Not a lot of weight to it, except for those dumbbell eyes, which allows it to sink really quickly. Lots of action in the water without the material holding it up. Okay, These are uh, grizzly barred flutter legs, and these are the chartreuse barred black, or bar black barred chartreuse. What we're going to do is we're going to take a full, full set here, and I'm just going to fold it in half. Try to do this so you guys can see. I'm going to take my scissor blades, and I'm just going to cut those in half here, so now I have two sets of a full skirt. Okay, I'm going to set one of those skirt sides um, to, the, to the side here and just split this one in half. And I'm just going to tear that so now I have a quarter of each skirt. And this is uh, this rubber collar that I've used on a lot of my bass flies. It's a little tricky to get it to work correctly, but uh, as it, with anything, the more you practice it, the, the better it's gonna, gonna look. I'm gonna take this quarter of a skirt and I'm just gonna drape it over the top here, okay? And what I've done is I've essentially covered the top quarter, okay? And I'm just gonna put two loose wraps on top here, and then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just gonna kinda roll it to the side so I get about 180 degrees or the coverage on there. And then I can pull tight, give a couple extra wraps, and then flip it upside down and do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna take this other quarter of a skirt that I have, drape it over the top, give two loose wraps, take my fingers and kind of roll it so that I'm covering 180 degrees. So now I've got a 360 degree collar of rubber legs. Give it two tight wraps. And as you can see I've got all the way around a nice rubber collar. Okay, and now I can come in and I can clip. Now what you can notice is I've left where I put those in was right underneath where that solid part is and where the actual rubber legs are cut. So I've I've actually done my wrap over the top of where the rubber legs are and not that 
that solid piece that those rubber legs are attached with. Okay, I'll cut that off on the same. I'm going to stroke these back and just kind of bind any of those loose ends back. So I have a cut off any other ones. Okay, we're going to go, uh, this is how I like to make my heads on these flies. Um, and a lot of my jig flies it makes them really strong, really durable. Um, also gives a nice look in the water. And that's with, uh, this is UV Ice Dove, and this is the UV Black. You can do it with purple, looks good on this one as well. Um, and we're just going to make a nice thick noodle of dubbing. Make sure you don't get any marabou in your, in your dubbing noodle here. We're going to... Give a couple wraps here on the on the top. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to X wrap over the eyes. Turn it over again. X wrap over the eyes. So that I don't see any of those thread wraps or any of those ends of the of the legs. Okay, if you've got a little extra, we can just pull that off. Okay, go ahead and whip finish this. I'll do two. Okay. And then I'll take, uh, this is Loon uh, UV Clear Fly Finish. This is the thin. I'm just going to put a little layer on that ice dub. What this does, it magnifies everything that's underneath it. So it gives you a nice hard uh, head on there. And it magnifies that ice dub. Gives a really neat looking head to it. Just want to make sure that none of your marabou gets into that that fly finish and then we're going to hit it with the light about 10 seconds or so on each side and then I'll go back with the flow and I'm just going to kind of put that on top here that just sinks into any extra crevices or spots that we've got. And it also gives a nice even head to it. Hit it with the light one more time. Okay, now you can leave these legs full length if you'd like. Um, they have a tendency to wrap around the, the hook point if you do. Um, I prefer to uh, turn this upside down. And I'm going to cut them to where they're about halfway into the rabbit strip tail. And by doing it this way, you can make sure that you have a, a 360 degree collar that is exactly the same length. This thing is going to ride um, hook point up and it's going to jig really nice. It's got a lot of movement to it. Bass go crazy over the legs. Uh, you can do this in a, in a couple different colors. Um, I really like it in this black and purple. Um, I really like it in an olive and rust color. Is really nice with these uh, blue rubber legs. Um, a white and red works really well as well. Gives a nice glow of red underneath with a pearl head. Works really well. And then a, uh, a white and chartreuse or a black and chartreuse is also really nice um, in the water with these. 
these uh, grizzly legs. So uh, tie some up. It's a uh, great little pattern. Just get just getting going on bass season. Um, tie some up and enjoy. Thanks. A big thanks to Regal Engineering, manufacturers of the world's best fly tying vices and accessories.